Now for the final conclusion to this painting, we're going to bring in the a foreground tree and a middle ground shrub. With this I'll use my half inch sable and my striker brush. Refilled my palette with the earth, all basically the same colors, earth tone, greens, browns. Uh, first you want to uh, block in the branches with these two brushes. The bigger one will be for the foreground tree and the skinny uh, striper for the smaller branches in the back. So I'm just going to dip into my browns. Raw umber, raw umber dark. You can bounce back and forth. You can pull in gold, little white. It doesn't matter. Just kind of feel loose with it. and Just kind of carefully and lightly just bring in some little branches like so. Keep them thin because just like any tree or bush, they taper and get thinner as they come to the top. You don't want too many branches. I'm just kind of working with one little trunk here and letting these other smaller branches grow off of it. Here we have our basic little shrub trunk. Uh, dip in the tip of your brush into the top of the water carefully. Come back, bounce around from this color, that color. You can even, you know, touch yellow. Just play around with it. Uh, I'm going to switch to the half inch. Now I'm going to come behind the rocks and come right up to the top of the rocks. Don't go on top of the rock. you got to go right flush with the top. I start wide like this and as I go up I'm going to turn it and that helps the branches get thinner. Dip into the water to keep the flow of the paint. You just have to make sure you're going from big to little. See? Big, skinny. Kind of ease up off the brush as you're thinning it out to the top. Kind of make it jaggedy. Left, right. Give it that natural tree form. Got my little paintbrush still loaded with paint. Come back. It's okay if some branches are a little darker than others. Just keep forking all these branches every which direction because in nature trees grow all different directions and ways. Brush gets a little dry, just refill it with the paint from thicker to real thin. Throw a little branch here and there. Not all over. The more organic you can make this tree, the more natural it will look. You don't need thin spots like that, so you got to thicken that back up. It has to consistently get from thick trunk to thinner. It has to read even.